Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. 911 received the call early Thursday morning, a smoke sighting at Harmon Industrial Park. When our units arrived, we found a fully engulfed uh, wooden tin structure. It's a modular home um, with aluminum siding. Uh, we forced our, you know, we forced entry, tried to make entry. Uh, however, the building was fully engulfed. Guam Fire spokesperson Kevin Riley reporting firefighters then made a shocking discovery. We had our units put out the fire and then we commenced overhaul and extinguishment and that's when uh, our units found that there was someone inside. The finding prompting a joint investigation. Guam Police spokesperson Sergeant Paul Tapao. Our investigators are going to work side by side. They're going to be pretty much stuck at the hip and working together in any findings that they come across, whether it be GPD finding or GFD finding, everything will be taken into consideration as, we, as they move forward with the investigation. If fire investigators determine the flames were intentionally set, and then it becomes criminal, and then all their findings and everything will be forwarded to the criminal investigation division for uh, immediate follow-up and review. Among first responders was a group of passerbys. Billy Basakio assisted firefighters after they put out the flames. I saw the fire and uh, smoke and I will cannot uh, inside and, and I'm only scared. But I don't know, somebody there. I think my warehouse or my work. No word yet on what sparked the flames. It is going to be very lengthy. You know, we want to make sure that we cover all our bases. We want to make sure that we rule out every uh, possibility and, and come to the right conclusion. If you have any information on this case, you are asked to call Guam Crime Stoppers at 477-HELP. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.